How's it going guys? Today I'm bringing you an all-time Colorado Avalanche team build. This is actually for the Stanley Hut playoffs. If you guys haven't heard about this, uh, it's basically a tournament where 16 NHL YouTubers and streamers are randomly given a playoff team, and with that team you get to build an all-time team in Hut. Um, players could have not even played a game for that team as long as they were drafted by them or just somehow were affiliated with the organization at some point. And obviously there's a big prize at the end if we're able to uh, come away as the winner. Uh, last year we had Nashville. I think we got knocked out in the second round. So hoping for a bit more success this time around, but it's going to be tough. Um, it's the same like matchups as real life. So we're playing Nashville, who I think is Bojo. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty tough first round. Also guys, for this, there's actually a 1600 salary cap for your skaters. So um, you have to add up the overalls of all 18 skaters and it has to be 1600 or less. Our team actually adds up to 1600 right on. So here's a look at the team. I think it's pretty sick, honestly. First line there, you got Ruby McKinnon, 96 overall. Uh, the 95 All-Star Game Sackick and the 99 Evo Rantanen. 99 Evo Rantanen is basically 99 everything. He's such a beast. Um, the Sackick here, 95 face, which is awesome for a center. He's also got 99 for all of his hand stats. And then McKinnon, super fast. He's got 99 speed. Almost 99 for his hands. Actually, with our synergies, it is 99. His shot's pretty close to perfect. So, even though he's 96, his offensive stats are pretty much as good as you can get. Uh, second line here with the 94 Milestone Verbata, 94 Team of the Year O'Reilly, and the 97 uh, Team of the Year Landeskog. So, pretty solid second line, I think. Again, looking at the stats, like, Landeskog there with um, all the synergy boosts is basically 9 on everything for offense. Um, O'Reilly, very good center as well, 95 faceoffs there with good uh, defensive stats. And then Verbata here, pretty quick, really good shot in him. Again, with all the uh, synergy boosts, basically perfect offensive stats. Uh, third line here is pretty solid as well. You got the legend Curry. I didn't even realize he played for Colorado, but I guess his last year in the NHL he did, which really helps us out. He has a nice right-handed shot there on third line left wing. Uh, milestone Matt Duchesne, and then the legend Brian Rolston. So obviously this third line isn't quite as good as the first two, but still pretty solid looking through. One question I definitely have to ask you guys. Uh, so I like my left wingers being right-handed, right wingers being left-handed. Um, Duchesne's playing center. He's got 84 face-offs. Now Curry has 90 face-offs, six better, but he's right-handed. So what do you think is more important, these six extra points to face-offs or having that right-handed shot in the left wing? Definitely let me know whether or not I should switch these two. I'm still debating it myself. And then fourth line here, obviously going to be pretty low rated to keep us under the salary cap. You got the bronze Samuel Girard, who's actually a defenseman, but doesn't matter. Uh, Tyson, Josh, and Neil Yakupov. And Yakupov here is actually a pretty good fourth liner, really fast. Uh, Josh, 74 face-offs isn't too bad. And then Girard, really not that great, but if you look at his stats, he's honestly more of a forward than a defenseman anyway, so... Can't complain too much. Uh, next year, the D, I think, is a pretty solid top six. Uh, you got the hero Blake there with the all star game Ray Bork. One thing I love about him is he's actually got 99 shot like across the board, so gonna have him on the point for the power play and all that stuff. And then Blake, they're obviously just a sturdy defenseman. Uh, second pairing there, you got team of the year Butcher with the prime time Tyson Berry, so two fast and skilled defensemen. Obviously, this team's got a lot of speed. And then third pair there, you have Connor Timmins, it's the world junior card. Uh, 95 speed, really uh, powerful shot, and then the 80 overall base Hatterov. Definitely our worst defenseman, so he's probably only going to play the third pair, none of the special teams. And speaking of special teams, here's a look at the power play. Uh, that first line there is honestly so sick. Uh, I just stacked the first line with all the best players. Second line, honestly, is pretty good as well. Uh, Four-man power play has a ton of speed on it, uh, which obviously is what you need. Penalty kill here is pretty solid as well. Obviously, the two centers having 95 face-offs for that is huge. Uh, Three-man penalty kill. Pretty much the same thing. Subbed in Timmons, he's a bit quicker uh, than Blake, which I think could be important there in a three-man penalty kill. Uh, shootouts are our best left-handed players. Uh, I like having like the same hand all the way throughout. I think it just makes it easier uh, for each shot. Extra attack is obviously 99 Ranton and 96 McKinnon, the two best players on the team. And next year we have the goalies, probably the weak point of the team, honestly. Now the goalies do not count towards the salary cap, but uh, the only better glue we could get than Bernier is like the new 97 Stanley Cup Jaguar, which is not on the market. So have to run with the 93 Bernier. Hopefully he's good enough. Uh, the good thing is that we do get a lot of synergies from both these guys to help with the team. Head coach there, Ivansky, you can see has CW. We we're actually able to get every single team synergy and a bunch of player synergies, which is pretty awesome. As with the salary cap, the only way to kind of go above 1600 would be with synergies. So uh, synergies are very important. We have a ton of them. Uh, as you can see there, neutral zone defender, rocket skates, dangler zone, um, hammer time, clutch player. And then like I said, all five team synergies. We actually just got three of them, 10 for 10. So a very fast, very skilled team. 
Uh, really, the only thing I'm worried about is our goalies. And then I think this weekend or ne early next week, games get started, and I'll actually be streaming those on Twitch. So make sure you're following me over there if you want to watch the games live. And that's about it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.